I want to show you guys a couple of things before we go grab what we're supposed to grab. Though. Come with me. I, uh, I took it pretty serious for the first like six to ten months. Welcome back to Thailand. Now when we are all watching YouTube videos about people that are in different countries, it can be kind of easy to get a misconstrued idea of what life is like in those places. Now don't get me wrong, as a YouTuber, I know what it's like. Those fun, cool places, it makes it really easy to make a video. There's not a lot for us to think about and it's pretty obvious that whoever decides to watch will probably enjoy seeing that. But especially if you're planning on moving to Thailand, what does a real day look like? Uh, well, for me, about nine out of 10 days start out like this. It's easy to do in Thailand because it's not like Starbucks in America where you're spending like $8 a coffee and by the end of the month, it ends up being like half of your rent. Luckily, it's like everything else it's kind of a vice you can get away with. Okay, we are juiced up. Let's go pick a fight. Okay, but actually I have to run and take care of something right now. Gosh, I love CB Media. And it is that time of year in Thailand. I can hear thunder. I can't really see clouds though, so we gotta make this quick. There's nothing more awkward than standing there waiting for 20 baht and change from the taxi and then 10k baht falls out of your wallet. Now especially if you're planning on living in Thailand, logistically you're gonna have stuff to do. You're gonna have errands, there's times you're gonna have to run around all over the city, you know what I mean? And luckily Thailand does have pretty good public transportation. But with me, one, I hate being sweaty. So when it's super hot, or it's raining a lot, the bot bus is kind of a bummer. And especially with me down here in Jam Tien, they switched beach road down here to one way. So I used to be able to take the bot bus up and down the beach and it was really convenient. Now, not so much. So in true Tempest TV fashion, I put everything off until the absolute last minute. So usually what I'll do is just go rent a bike for a day, run around, get everything done. So that's what we're doing right now. I'm on Soy 7 here in Jam Tien. There's a place I come down here I like to get bikes from, it's super convenient. This isn't sponsored or anything. The prices are really fair, they're fast. You're in and out of here in like 10 minutes. I don't really remember the name of the place, but I'll make sure to get a clip so you know. Okay, so bike, check. We need to go remedy quite a few things, but this place is right here on Soy 7 in Jam Tien. It's called Cannonang. Can Cannonang Cafe, bike rental. Basically, it's a coffee shop. They sell ganja and they rent motorbikes, but I got a Forza, I think for 300 baht a day, which is super fair, honestly. 1,000 baht deposit, one thing I've rented from these guys a few times. This was the first time they asked me for a copy of my license. Last few times, all they needed was a passport, so that is something to think about. Okay, package secured now if you're planning on coming to thailand vacation or moving here and you're planning on renting or buying a bike as kendrick lamar would say let me put you on game so first things first if you know absolutely nothing about motorcycles or motorbikes whatever you want to call it there's levels to it there's small bikes and there's big bikes that's both an engine size and actual just size of the bike so this is a Honda Forza. So on the scooter round, this is like the big dog. It's one of the highest CCs. It's the biggest bike out of all the Hondas pretty much. It's a beast. And me, like I've ridden leader bikes, 1000 CC crotch rockets, like I've ridden big bikes, but this since it's like a motorbike and your feet are in front of you, having a bike this big is a lot different. So if you've never ridden bikes before, I don't recommend going this big. I would recommend something like this 
Like this is a Honda Click, which is the small bike you'll see most ties riding bikes like this. Another thing to think about is when you're going in and renting bikes from these places, a lot of the times they're pretty well taken care of, but you have to realize that these bikes most of the time are being rented by foreigners or people who haven't ridden or taken care of bikes so they don't give a shit about maintenance because it's not theirs or they just don't know any better and in general they've been getting beat on so it's always really good when you rent one to walk around the bike look for any damage point it out to the person you're renting from take photos of it and check the bike really good this bike alone even me knowing about bikes when i went to drive off i noticed it was super squirrely this front tire was only like half inflated. And even when I went back and told the guy, he was like, no, it's good, it's good. And I'm like, I'm not taking this with a low front tire. If you don't know anything about motorbikes, your front tire is your connection to the road. So if there's a problem with that, you are more than likely gonna crash. But he did put some air in it, so we're all good now. Okay, quick wardrobe change because I'm a sweaty POS. And then we're on our way. I gotta, I gotta go do some. I gotta appease the trolls. I gotta get the trolls out of the comments, so let's just, let's go take care of it. Okay, so we have made it down to my local macro. I'll tell you what, this Forza, I'm not really crazy about it on the surface streets, like on the small roads, because it's just big, so it doesn't turn very well. But on Sukhumvit, like the more high speed stuff, it is definitely comfortable. The thing that I need to appease all the trolls, I believe is in here. I always get Macro, Lotus, and Big C all confused, but I'm pretty sure we're in the right spot. Let's go find out. If not, go on to the next one. Okay, well, that was quick, true Tempest TV fashion. This is not the store I was thinking of. So let's go hop on the bike. Gotta go back down the road a little bit. Okay, let's try this again. Pretty sure we're in the right place this time. Looking good. Looking good. I'm gonna get copyrighted. I'm talking so I don't get copyrighted. Talking so I don't get copyrighted. I wanna show you guys a couple things before we go grab what we're supposed to grab though. Come with me. So of course everybody knows when you go to like Thai restaurants and stuff, food is cheap. Thai food's really cheap, but I feel like not a lot of people have talked about what's ex more expensive in Thailand or maybe like the same price or more expensive, really. Um, and you get good deals on food, but you really get good deals when you come to the grocery store, especially when it comes to like buy one, get one free, stuff like that. But this is one that kills me the most like nuts and stuff cashews are really expensive in america like this big old bag is 400 grams of cashews which i don't know what that is in america but 320 baht which is just under ten dollars it's nine dollars pretty much so that's actually really cheap there's another one that i have to find to see if i could show it to you guys though because it's crazy this is another one that kind of kills me there's only two flavors of doritos here We've got like a barbecue one, which the barbecue here is way different. And then the not so cheese, but these bags are only 31 baht, less than a dollar. So that's pretty sick. Let's see if I can find this other thing real quick. Okay, well, it doesn't look like they have what I was looking for. I was looking for cases of the Thai Red Bull. Last time I was in Big C, you could get a case of it. I think it was 14 of the little bottles. They're like six ounce bottles. 14 of them, I think it was like 200 baht, which I mean, that's pretty wild, but let's just speed run some, oh my God. So, Bang Bangs, these are like my favorite candy bar. These are sweet, it's like coconut wafers. There's, there's gotta be like eight of them in here. 48 baht for this whole thing. I think these, one of them just by themselves at 7-Eleven is 10 baht, maybe five baht. But yeah, the grocery store, especially for like snacks and shit, can for sure be worth it but let's go see if we can find what i actually came here for okay well go figure it doesn't look like they have what i was looking for but yes i hear you guys in the comments i see you i dropped my electric shaver in the toilet sometime in the past few weeks so i was coming down here to buy a new one before we get out of town tomorrow but i guess i'm gonna have to go with the old wild west status which i have baby skin so 
that's kind of a bummer. Gotta do what we gotta do for now. Okay, so mission failed. Well, I guess like 60% fail. If you watch enough of the channel, you're not surprised. Any other time I would run around, I'm sure there's, I could think of a couple other places where they more than likely have them. I'm about due for a coffee, so let's go handle that. Okay, bike returned along with my deposit. We kind of half completed our little mission, so hopefully in the next video, I don't look completely homeless. So as you could probably tell by this point, not every day is a movie. Of course, when you come on vacation, you gotta cram in as much fun as you can in a very short amount of time. And don't get me wrong, I, uh, I took it pretty serious for the first like six to 10 months that I was here. Planning on moving here, normal days like today are completely okay. And um, I think they're a lot more sustainable than just being full tilt, degenerate, constantly.